Here are a few tips I wish I'd known earlier about Octane. First tip, I want to show you how you can lower the fog density. I don't know if you've already noticed, but if you go down 0.001 on the density, the fog just disappears. To adjust this, keep the 0.001 density. Go to Generate tab. Here on the texture, click on the arrow, Plugins, C4D Octane, and add a RGB spectrum. The darker you go, the less dense the fog becomes. For the second tip, let's see how you can render and export your clay render. These days, some people like to see the clay render to make sure it's really 3D. To do so, it's pretty simple. You can click on this button to have it on the Octane viewport. And when you're ready to render, go to your render settings, Octane Renderer, and here on Clay Rendering, choose Gray. Third tip. I'm going to talk about a rather frustrating subject. Sometimes you're navigating your scene and you realize that you're seeing through your camera and you've lost the composition that took you so long to find. What you can do to avoid this is to add a protection tag to the camera. To do this, right-click on the camera object, rigging tag, protection. This way, when you look through the camera, it won't move. If you've lost your composition already, I have a handy shortcut for you. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Z to go back to your previous camera spots. For this one, I want to show you how you can easily select a material inside your Octane viewport. You simply have to right-click on the object that has the material, material, select material. So now if you go to your node editor, you can modify it. Last tip. Let's see how you can render with a transparent background. Go to your Octane settings and tick the alpha channel box. You will see that you now have a transparent background. Go to your render settings and in the save tab, Choose a format that allows transparency, for instance, PNG. The important thing here is to check this alpha channel here. So that's it for these quick tips. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.